Penalties, Brittany Jeffers, live for us at the Tully Stadium test site to break it all down. Brittany, good morning. And good morning to you. Certainly a lot to talk about on the COVID-19 front, a lot of new developments. And for starters, if you've had the virus, researchers are now putting out a timeline as far as how long you may be protected by antibodies. If you've been diagnosed with COVID-19, you may have antibodies that last for at least four months. That's according to a recent Icelandic study where researchers found antibody levels increase the first two months after diagnosis and remain stable for the next two months. In another development, Oxford University and AstraZeneca are beginning phase three clinical trials of a possible coronavirus vaccine. Researchers say the vaccine is a genetically altered virus, which teaches the immune system to generate COVID-19 antibodies. So this one is one of the ones that's leading the race and is one of the ones that looks promising to get us that vaccine as soon as possible. Finally, you may have seen people walking around with face shields. It turns out those might not work. According to researchers, they say in simulations, the face shield did block the initial forward motion of a cough or sneeze, but the droplets were easily able to spread around the visor. So instead of wearing a face shield, experts say you should stick with wearing a cloth mask. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Brittany, thank you. It's